Okay, as I have experienced before, the problem with all the data appears to be is, is under the user Jan app data local. You can see it says 67 gigs right there, and 62 gigs of that is in this folder called temp. So something is generating these huge these temp files that contain all the data. And I'm going to dig in on that, but immediately I'm going to free up some of this so that you can get back to work as soon as possible. All right, they're in the process of being deleted. We should see this 70 gigs in Jan's folder come down substantially. Okay, so while those folders are being deleted, they're being deleted in the background right now. Uh, in fact, they may already have been deleted. I'm looking over some of these remaining ones that have been created today. And if I, I see this DISM host is a fairly common pattern. And, uh, and this one's got DISM host and quite a few other files, but still a common pattern over and over again. So that DISM is a Windows program, a program that comes with Microsoft Windows. Now, I've done a little Googling, and among the hits, what is DISM host in the temp folder? Um, and Carlo says, it's caused by Windows Defender not being able to run a schedule scan. You can manually perform a scan to resolve this issue. Well, that would be nice. Let's see if we can do that. We will look at uh, Defender here. Look at the scan options. No current threats. Last scan 720. Doesn't look like it's having a problem with scans. That said, we're going to do a full scan just in case it helps. So I'm still searching around. There are certainly, this is a, a more common problem than I realized. Um, here is a, a page full of stuff, and uh, somebody says it's worth trying a Windows Defender scan. Um, update, it didn't work, so we have low expectations of that. Now in this very long post that talks about possible problems and solutions and people have tried many iterations. Um, this last one says that may be the most useful and relevant post I've ever seen and it talks about something in task schedule of being stopped which is the ultimate uh, there's, a, there's something in task scheduler that's screwing things up. It's called a silent cleanup, and anyway, it indicates a failure. So I've opened up Task Scheduler. That's a program in your com in every Windows computer. And when I open it up, I'm immediately greeted with an error message: User feed synchronization no longer exists. Blah blah blah. Click refresh. I click refresh. It gives me the same error. So we've got something going on in Task Scheduler that is in fact out of whack. So then going down that rabbit hole, the selected task no longer exists. To see the current task, click refresh. This is a post I found online, and it talks about going to see Windows system tasks and manually delete the offending task, though this may take some trial and error because um, if you don't know which task is causing the problem. So we'll take that back up and move from there. Okay, so we're going to search for this number right here in your Windows tasks. Um, and see if we find a match. And we do have something here. So we're going to manually delete that task, which has been around since 2017. Don't know if something may be modified over that period of time, but yeah, we search for it again. It no longer appears, so that worked. However, opening up Task Manager still gives the very same error message. 
And that coincides with this message that says, interesting new quirk in Windows 10, even after you delete the file, Task Manager still complains. And so uh, another post led me down the popcorn trail of looking at the registry. You see right here, the discussions in the other resources pointed me to there, which I've already been, and one in the registry. So I've opened up the registry on your computer and indeed find another example of that same thing. And this is called cache. We all know that cache needs to be cleared every now and then in some programs or it'll get you. So we're going to delete that from the cache area. All right, we'll open up the task scheduler one more time. And lo and behold, we no longer get the error. That doesn't mean that is what was causing the problem and your problem is solved. So I'm in the task scheduler. These, this is the library showing things that are supposed to be done every day. There's a lot of things in here about OneDrive. I noticed that this has OneDrive turned off, so it's not using, it's not even signed in. So this doesn't need anything, any tasks run from OneDrive. I'm going to yank those out of there. Okay, uh, there's a schedule report from QuickBooks which is disabled. I don't, I didn't disable it, so don't know what that's about. QuickBooks must have disabled it themselves. And these are related to the browser Microsoft Edge. I am going to disable those uh, just in case they're part of the problem. Now there are other tasks that are located in here and as I work my way down this list I come down to Microsoft Anti-Malware Schedule which probably ties into, might def tie into Defender and it does say last runtime 721 the system cannot find the file specified, so I'm going to want to check that out. And Windows Defender doesn't have anything in it at all. That's quite a long list, so we won't bore you with all of that. But we do have one on Windows Defender right here, which does have three tasks. And each one of them say the process terminated unexpectedly on 7.20, So um, we're going to want to ferret that out. Now, for the heck of it, I've checked Windows updates to make sure they're working. And we see updates as recently as yesterday. So I'm comfortable. There's no errors in there. So that's all doing what it's supposed to. So at this point, I could go down a very long road of picking through the haystack and trying to find needles. Um, but I've decided I'm going to, sh it's best to try and shotgun it at this point. So I've asked ChatGPT if there is a way to purge reinstall Windows Defender. It's given me a popcorn trail on that. So that's what we're going to do. And you'll notice some of the commands involve DISM. Well, that didn't work. It ended up with a page full of errors, so we're going to try another recommended approach. We're going to turn off Defender. I'm now going into the registry again. This time for Windows Defender, as shown above here. I've right-clicked and created a new D word, 32-bit, and set its value to 1. The new D word is called Disable Anti-Spyware. And now I'll reboot the computer. Okay, so the computer's rebooted. And at this point, I want to purge Windows Defender. There is a risk uh, in purging Windows Defender that the computer won't restart. And that's an unknown unknown, but Windows Defender is, is such a core woven piece of software in Microsoft Windows that... Um, this, I just don't know. I've never, I've never purged uninstalled Windows Defender before. I've researched it. It looks doable. But just to be on the safe side, I've checked our most recent backups of uh, QuickBooks, and those backups are doing what they're supposed to do on a daily basis, so life looks good there. In fact, that's more than a daily basis.
It is every 180 minutes. All right, so now it is allowing me to run commands that I was not able to run before, and that is because the program itself is stopped and disabled in the registry. Well, except for that part. So I've stopped, uninstalled the Fender, but it will not let me remove those files and folders that contain some aspects of it. So we're just going to have to stop there for now because the time involved at this point to get around that is so substantial that the cure becomes worse than the disease and reinstalling Windows is starting to make more sense if this doesn't fix it. So I've just ran the commands to reinstall and enable. You can see those are the D these are also DISM commands that would have failed earlier. And this sets the service and restarts it. Okay, so we restarted the computer in the lower right corner. We've got a green check mark for uh, Windows Defender, so things look good there. Okay, in the meantime, uh, just as another safeguard, I'm going to create a script that's going to run every day to delete old temp files from your uh, from the Jans user. That's what this does. It finds out uh, the temp folder of the current user. It'll go through this process. It will delete uh, yesterday's files. Uh, in folders, so that should help clean things up. Okay, so back to our friend the task manager. I've created a CompuMatter daily temp file cleaning. It's going to at 7 p.m. every day. It'll run the program delete old temp, which you see right here. In the end, we pointed it to the right folder. You can see I've run the script. It's deleted a bunch of stuff and um, we can in fact see that there is nothing older than the 20th so that should be good that's going to run at seven o'clock every day as well my work is done i don't know if you can hear that air conditioning in the background my apologies if you can uh, thanks for your business talk to you soon